Hi friends. This Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, the beginning of the church season of Lent, a six-week period that ends on Resurrection Day. It's a time in which we consider Christ's sufferings and also reflect on how we are to live sacrificially for him. On Ash Wednesday, ashes are traditionally placed on one's forehead or one's wrist in the sign of a cross. They remind us that our bodies will return to ash and dust. So we should be working on our souls, which will never die. Ashes also identify us as followers of Jesus, and they speak of a time of repentance. During the time of Lent, we reflect on the injustice and the hurt that is going on in the world and how our own sin and selfishness has contributed to that. In years past, we have opened up the church building the morning of Ash Wednesday for prayer, reflection, and receiving ashes. But because of the pandemic, we feel like we can't do that safely this year, as we would like to. But we still encourage you to use the day in reflection and in service to others. Renee and I plan to put ashes on our forehead on Ash Wednesday. And if you would like, you can let me know and I will do my best to get you some ashes uh, before Wednesday. Just uh, mix the ashes with some olive oil and form a paste. And don't use any ashes because some ashes will leave a burn mark on your forehead or your wrist. I get my ashes from the Grand Rapids Catholic Diocese Bookstore on Division. So that's an option too. Last year on Ash Wednesday, is when I had cancer cut out of me. The remains of the cancer that was killed and some live cells of cancer that still remained. All the cancer was taken out. I didn't have to have the surgery or face the long recovery. I chose to because I knew that the only way to live and to live fully was to take the cancer out. Even though as we were driving in the car to the hospital that morning, turning around seemed like a pretty good option. God used that surgery and he worked that day to save me, to save me that day and to keep me alive for this day. This Ash Wednesday and season of Lent Choose to use the time to ask God to remove those sinful behaviors and inclinations through his Holy Spirit. Be open and ask him to cut out that spiritual cancer that finds its way in. Make the choice to take this Lenten tradition of the ancients and to take it seriously, especially more seriously than our culture does. We trust and pray that this six week Lenten period and journey, God will use that to draw us close to himself and to his love because of the cross. And above all, we honor Christ during this time as we reflect on his suffering and all that he endured for us. How great is his love for us.